What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Colony Survival. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today. It's another pleasant evening of undead slaughter inside of our little gatehouse. And so things have changed since the last time we played here together. And so what I wanted to do was actually sit down and show you what's changed. We've got a bunch of new colonists going on. I built a sleeping area down here in the corridor where they could all hang out. And this is like infinitely expandable right here. I can just make this as large as I need it to be and it's all good. It wouldn't need to go any further. I made some little designs in the ceiling. I made some little designs in the stone. I feel like it turned out pretty well. Like, it could have been, like, a tiny bit nicer, and I'm sure that there are little breaks in the design strategy and all that kind of stuff. But all in all, I'm pleased with it. In addition, down here, I'm giving you just the rough tour for right now. The real rough tour. In addition, down here in the little mining area, I've added a bunch of crates because I realized my mining guys were having to walk all the way back up the stairs in order to plant the iron back inside of the base. And so as you can see, they're actually being fairly successful at getting that done now. Uh, we don't have any logs to burn at the moment, and so food is not getting made, but we do have a whole bunch of grain stocked up. So the moment that that's finished, it'll probably be all right. I used the majority of our wood for continuing the wizard's tower, the wizard's tower, which was actually made out of dirt. I didn't realize that I had built my wizard's tower out of dirt. I'm sure you all shouted that at me because I brought up that the texture looks slightly off, but you've got to admit, these two icons look kind of similar. Like, look, can you tell the difference between that one and that one? Like, there's a slight hue difference, but it's an easy mistake to make, all right? It's not like I did it on purpose, yo. Sometimes it occurs. Sometimes you, like, miss a detail. I've also planted a whole bunch of forestry things out here to make life easier. And on top of that, I'm going to give them a couple of crates, too, because I've got plenty of that stuff. I'll probably just make a big old pile out here. We'll make like a, I don't know, just like a, a big old crate pile out here to denote that work is getting done and that they're like shipping things out. But at the same time that they're also human beings and human beings are naturally disorganized. So when you want to make piles of stuff like crates, you should make them like weirdly just laid around. That's what humans do. We lay things out oddly. Uh, all my people are now sleeping down below the city, so they should be more or less safe. Instead, what I would suggest is that we go in here and we try to figure out what we want to do with our strategy for this area. However, until we get a better log supply, I'm thinking that's going to have to be put on hold. Instead, creatively, let's make a uh, temperate leaves biome here. And there's a zombie inside my building. Go away, zombie. Go away. Oh, shit on me. He's got me cornered. He's got me cornered. He's going to try and bite my booty. You know how these zombies are about booty biting. They bite them booties all the time. I do have some leaves, and so what I would like to do is actually make some hedges and things out front. Like, I don't know. I think, like, a little hedge out in front of this place will, like, really kind of bring it together and make it look kind of habitated, I guess. Uh, I'll probably go up very slightly right there. Make it look a little overgrown, because you know how wizards are. They're not that big into gardening. I don't think they would be that concerned about it. And then I might also do something similar around the front of the tower over here. Just every now and again. Like, I don't want, like, a hedge all the way around it, you know what I mean? But, like, although it might be cool to trace the wall with a hedge, it might look good. It also might provide cover for our undead foe. But it might look good. I don't know. Let me step back and admire for a second and see if that's something that I think makes the building look better. I mean, hedges in front would keep invaders away. It would throw them back. It would punish them for being the filthy little bastards that they are. But for now, we just gotta wait for our wood supply to be good so that we can continue the Wazard Tower. So give me a little while and I'll farm up the materials and we'll see if we can get this things built in today's episode because no doubt, oh, I'm writing a check that my ass can't cash right now. I'm sure that the thumbnail for this episode is gonna be like a Wizard's Tower or something like that in order to get you to clickety-click. Now that we have some logs, we can get back to work over here on this Wizard Tower, which I think is gonna be our project for the day. I don't know how large or how massive I'm going to make it, and in fact, this might end up just being like a bunker expansion of our base. If it ends up not looking very wizardly, is that even a word, wizardly? If it ends up not looking wizardly, I'll probably do something different with it. But for right now, so it looks like what I did over there was something like that, and then I think I was doing some kind of design or something like that that I was attempting to do, but... The things that I attempt and the things that actually come true are two very different subjects, in all fairness. They tend to be somewhat misaligned. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. Every now and again, I come up with these ideas, 
and they never work out the way that I want them to, like, ever. That's, like, the story of everything I do in life, is that, like, I have, like, a plan, and then, like, I go for it. And I know there's a saying about best laid plans and all that, but I don't think about that, because it's depressing. I don't think about what ifs, like, what if this doesn't happen? No. I just do the thing, man. I just do the thing. Keep a gangster, you feel me? I'll probably have that connect right there. And then we'll need an interior wall right here, which will eat up floor space. But I promise it'll make it all look better once we start getting to, like, the nitty-gritty of what it is that we're trying to do right now. And so I think we're just doing, like, a line right here. Just to sort of denote that we've gone up to the next layer. The other thing is that I think we need another wood block right there. However, I am hesitant to pull too much wood <laughs> giggity, out of my supply because they can't cook bread. Can't cook no bread without it, so kind of got to make sure that we have it in there. All right, cool. So that's basically our first, like our first little layer. I sorry, I had a minor stroke right there. I, I think that uh, actually no, my teeth stuck to my lip for some reason. I was trying to talk, I was like, Bleh! and it just made me feel stupid. Uh, we've got something going on right there on this side. It doesn't look like I connected this over here. Here, you guys, be connected. Be eat connected. Be connected. Be eat connected. There we go. And so I'll put you right there. And that looks like we're right about at the point we want to be at. I think that's what I've got going on on all the different sides. It looks about right to me, but sometimes I can't tell when it comes to the symmetry of these kinds of projects. Uh, let's go to the temperate logs. And we'll start adding some height to this beast. You know what I've just realized? I've just realized that my wall is asymmetrical. Each of these has five on each side. That one has six. And I just realized it, I think. I don't know. I would have to I would have to count it. So we've got like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, that's right. I just messed up the pattern somewhere and I can't quite figure out where. Messed up the pattern. I messed it up right now. Ooh ooh. Is it that block right there? It might be that block right there. No, it's not. Shit, what happened here? I don't know, after looking at it for a little bit, I'm not really sure what I messed up here. I definitely messed up something, though. Definitely messed up something. So I think I'll probably take that right there. I think I just need to put wood blocks around each of these corners, I think is what I messed up. I don't know, I was looking at it from down below and it was looking a little funky. It was looking a little funky. So if I keep that to right there, and then we keep the pattern mostly constant, it should have one right there. It should have one right there, and it should have one right there. See, this is why I'm not an art major. This is why I went into geology, is because I tend to mess up stuff like this. And so we'll go like that. We'll add some extra support beams, and there we go. Now it looks a lot better. Now I am now I am pliezed. Nope, not pliezed with that one right there, though. Add in some more blocks. Got to get this thing some height, bruh. Got to get this thing some height, man. We got to let people know from the neighboring kingdoms that we have the tallest tower. It is the largest, and it is the girthiest, and it is the bestest. And it is also the most requested. -ed. This is really going to hurt if I fall, by the way. This is going to be gnarly damage. Like, straight pain for days damage. How my log farm... Oh, my log farm is doing great. Good. Awesome. I think it's up and running now. So I should actually have building supplies for once, which never happens. That never happens. I never have building supplies that I need in order to do any of these projects. I've always got to go farm for like an hour in between each thing. And so we've got another support layer up. So we've gone up by like three-ish. That's probably about what we want to do if we want to keep it symmetrical, I think. We'll bring that up to right there. Bring you up. Bring you up. I've also got to get those blocks down there brought up, but I'm going to have to do that the hard way, I think. I'm going to have to do something a little bit jank status to get that to move around. There we go. So that looks pretty good to me. And then our next project would be getting a stairwell to go up on that side, or we can just have that stairwell continue to go up, and we can just sprinkle things here and there 
in order to make it all work. I don't really care either way. It's not a, a huge concern. So from right here, we'll bring that up like so. We'll put this block back in because I do want to make sure that we're using those little ringy things on the sides over here. Ring-a-ding-ding-a-ding-a-ding-ding. -a -ding -a -ding. That's like legit one of my favorite internet videos of all time. The fork in the garbage disposal, bro. Fork in the garbage disposal is legit like 100% probably in my top 10 internet videos of all time. Probably my top 5. I laugh every time that I watch it. The fork in the garbage disposal goes hard, bro. It's that dance for the club that you just, you gotta bring with you. There we go. Throw in this liner right here. And we'll build the stairs first before I start dicking around with anything else. This is gonna suck. There we go. Looks all right to me. Doesn't look messed up yet. I think we've done an okay job of pulling it all together. There we go, I gotta drop a block right there, I'll hurt myself. And frankly, health is getting a little bit low right now, and so I probably want to avoid things that result in my pain and suffering. Uh, nope, not what I wanted, not what I wanted, not what- Oh shit, there's a bunch of zombies. Oh my god, they are gonna bite me. It's gonna hurt where my archer's at. Archer's come save me, this is bullshit. Archers! Archers! Help me! Archers? Why aren't you- Why aren't you helping me? Like, me lord! It's a revolution! The peasants have taken over, me lord! And I'll be like, oh, well, that's not good. That's definitely not going to play out well for me. With the command tool, I can bring in... Dude, we got food for a minute right now. I can bring in a few more fields over here, too. And it would not be that bad. So what I need over here is I need a wheat farmer. I'm going to put in a couple of wheat farms on this side. Some of them we at farms. Where are we at? In the wheat fields, bruh. There we go. So we'll take that right there. We'll do something very similarly over here. And with fields, it's actually okay to have fields like symmetrical. Because with fields, they usually are. Like if you've ever flown in a plane, in the United States especially, where we use the township and range system. Although, as a geologist, I will say township and range is archaic old and I don't care about it and I hate it. But, I had to learn it in college, so you gotta do what you gotta do. How we doing on wheat seeds right now? We got enough to make this thing happen. We got crates over here, so that sounds good. I will more than likely do more fields over on this side. Once we've got the chance, tower's looking pretty solid actively. I'm fairly happy with the way that it's gone so far. It looks about right, and I think if I can keep that pattern running upwards with just the, uh, the stone three, stone three, stone three, the interior won't really matter as long as the exterior looks good. That's all that matters. We're making a facade here. Just like our rain, we're making a massive facade at the moment. Now that the zombies are no longer trying to uh, chew my juicy bits, I may be able to do something with this in here. So there's our retaining wall on that side for the stairwell. And I think that looks really good. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. In fact, we've got that little retaining wall right there. I'll probably do something with the floor on this side to make it break up a little bit more. It's not that I want you to break up floor. It's just that, like, you're not enough floor for me. Not anymore. Not enough floor anymore. Floor, why you... No love me no more. Hey, and that took us up pretty much to the lair that we wanted to be on, I think. Yeah, that's cool. I can live with it. Let me go ahead and repeat the pattern one more time. One more time. And then we'll come back. You ever get the feeling the internet used to be more innocent? Like, you remember, like, back in the day, like, the people, it used to just be, like, people playing, like, pianos and shit on the internet. And now the internet feels like either it's evil or it's commercialized all hell and back to the point where it's pretty obvious that, like, the Turner Broadcasting Company is, like, responsible for what's happening here on screen. You know what I mean? Like, I miss the old days of the internet when everything was still, like, innocent and it was just people messing around on the internet for the fun of it, not for money or whatever. Yes, I realize the irony of saying this when my job is to do stuff on the internet. Like, I, I realize the irony, but things just felt more pure back then, you know what I mean? Like, it was different. 
the culture of the setting was different. Like, if you turn something into a job on the internet, it was cool. Like, there was no problem with that. But, if nothing came of it, people used to just do stuff for fun on the internet. And I'm sure they still do. There's a website for that called DeviantArt. I'm going to have to go down this way. Dude, DeviantArt, I love DeviantArt. But really, like, DeviantArt to me is a website dedicated to the proof that dreams don't come true. Like, it's the most upsetting website ever because you go on there and you're like, there are so many people that are so talented on this website. And I sit on the internet and I make fart jokes every day and I'm just rewarded for it over and over and over again. And, like, I don't know. Sometimes you start to wonder about shit like that as you get older. Like, why was I rewarded? Like, why do I get to do the thing that I enjoy but other people don't get to do the thing, like, that they enjoy? You know what I mean? Like, you start to wonder about it and you start to be like, hmm, I don't know if this is okay. Like, I don't know if this is all right. Like, I don't know. I, I don't... I'm trying to figure out, like... I think this is where our floor goes right here. I don't know. Life's so random, man. Like, people way more talented than, like, yourself. Like, just going, like, nowhere. Not really, like, getting the respect they deserve and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, like... I don't know. It bothers me. I think everybody should be allowed to do what they want to do. I'm all for, like, universal income and stuff like that, because they found that people are more productive when you remove the need. I mean, scientifically, this is more or less a fact that, like, yeah, you're always going to have people that are just going to be, like, lazy and be like, oh, I don't have to work now, I guess I'm not going to do that. But, like, the majority of people, the case study I would give you is look at old people when they retire. Old people when they retire are usually, like, chill for, like, a month, and then they're like, holy shit, I'm bored. And they usually start pursuing, like, a hobby or something that they enjoy doing. Or something like that, you know what I mean? And so anyway, I'm about to do something about this over here. It's ugly, but I think that'll work. There'll be a slight turn on that side. And this time around, to keep people from falling to their deaths, we'll put in another retaining wall. I've actually been really happy with the way this has turned out so far. I'm a little bit dreading how I'm going to get the, uh, the bulge of the tower done. Like, I'm a little bit concerned about that, but... Aside from everything else, I think that we should be able to get this project done today. Just like to dow And just like bang it out real fast. I kind of want to put a wall in right here too. Like I know it's going to eat up floor space, but part of me doesn't give a shit. Like I think it'll look better. Although an alcove right there for a torch might be kind of cool. Yeah, I think I can live with just I think I can live with what just happened right there. I think it looks pretty sweet. And I think I'm stoked about it. And over here we should have the same thing happening where I should be able to put in a torch like in this little recession. And then on this side I should be able, Oh shit, I busted a hole in my wall. Didn't mean to, but I did. I didn't mean to, but I did. And so on this side, can I that's going to bust a hole in it too. Hmm. Bust a hole. All right, we'll put a torch into this recession right here, too, so that at least there's some amount of illumination on this floor. I really like the way this has turned out. Like, this shit looks homey as hell, dude. If I could put this on the California housing market, I bet I could get at least, like, $20 for it. And so there's our tower with our cool little design. I'll decide what I want to do with the central blocks in just a little bit. But for now, I've just got to figure out a way that I want to terminate the tower. And I know the tower's looking at me like, Terminate? Whoa, 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 who's talking about terminating? Nah, it's not like that, man. It's not like that. But I've got to figure out a way that I want this to, like, end and be done. And so I don't know exactly how I want to get the scoop on the top to go in. There's no zombies behind me, right? Okay. Oh, there is a zombie behind me. Dude, you and your weird effervescent fluorescent eyes, bro. The upside to that is every time a zombie's near me, it clears out my sinuses, so that's pretty sweet. It's like being near too hot a hot sauce, you know what I- Ooh, we've got like an archway of leaves over here. I think it looks good, man. I think it looks really good. In fact, I'll probably dedicate myself to throwing in some more leaves over here and just kind of like seeing what happens. It's not going to be like symmetrical or anything like that. In fact, I'll probably just put them in like randomly. Like have them kind of just look like overgrowth here. For a bit. So I'll have a whole bunch over here. And then it'll go up to like right there. And then on this side it'll just barely go up. Maybe a little bit more space right there as it gets kind of... Because wizards, they don't do botany, man. Wizards, they don't they don't take care of their hedges. That's why their neighbors are always frustrated with them. 
And so now it looks like we've got ourselves a tower. I was gonna do, I was gonna try and do like a creeping ivy thing up the front and the sides of it, but I was worried that that might end up being weird. Like I was worried I was gonna mess it up, so I don't know. The next thing that I would suggest that we do is get some more archers. We've got 23 beds, so I can afford, I mean, I've got tons of people here. Like, this is not even a concern. And so I can go, like, I can go four more colonists pretty easily and still not even, like, touch on the scope of, like, my supplies. And so if I got a stairwell over here, let me get up, and we'll start putting in some more archery towers. I'm going to leap over to here. We do have an archer right here, which is pretty cool. Apparently, I forgot to put in the walkway on this side, so I guess that's what we're doing here today is we're putting in the walkway so that I can have archers back here and then I can check on them every now and again because I am a careful king, and I like to make sure that my people are doing what it is that I have assigned them to do because if they're not, it's the punishment pits for you. We'll put an archer right there, an archer right there. I'm missing bows, so I gotta make like several of these. So let's go ahead and make a bunch more bows so that that's all done and taken care of. So I got a guy right there, and I got a guy like right here. Okay. I'll probably try to get this somewhat symmetrical in the near future, but for now, we'll drop one right there. And we've only got one guy who's still unemployed. I'm gonna solidify out the other side then, so that on the other side, we got people busting caps too. Or busting flips, as I like to call it with arrows. They don't bust caps, they bust flips. Bust a flip! Alright, we'll put one right there too. And so we should actually have a ton of archers manning the walls now. And it should be looking pretty good. I don't think we're gonna struggle too much with our base defense. Let's finish off this tower, shall we? This tower is kinda... I gotta figure out what I wanna do here. And so looking at it... I'm trying to get like the spatial feel for it, but... I actually think this project is going to be somewhat of a challenge, and for a simple reason that that's just so high off the ground, and what I need to build is going to be along the outside edge, like where the cursor is, and so this is going to be a little bit screwy to get done, but we will have a pretty damn dope base over here, like this is a pretty sweet project that we've managed to finish off in a pretty short amount of time. I wish that I could go upstairs like the AI goes upstairs, man. Drives me nuts that I can't go upstairs. So we've got like the final layer over here, and I actually think the best way to do this is just to put the stairwell right here. Yeah, I think that works out fine, just fine, fine, just fine. Yep, looks good to me. That gets us up here. And so now what we need to do... Oh, this is so sketchy. Like, this is really sketchy, and I don't know how... So I can make it look janky and blocky, or I can get it to actually flow outwards like a goblet. And getting it to flow outwards like a goblet is sketchy as hell, because I'm definitely going to fall to my death trying to do it at least once. Uh, you know... Let's just take our chances... So what Yamo gonna try and do out here? Is something like this, I think. And I've gotta figure out... Oh, good lord. This is gonna be a mess already, I can tell. So what I've done there... A lot of it comes down to, do I want to double out these blocks, too, right here? Because if I don't... I'm trying to get a block onto that edge right there without killing myself. There we go. Made it. We made it, bros. We made it. And so as we start to put this in right here... I think we will find, let me get the floor placed first, just so I'm not tightrope walking up here like an idiot, and that's actually the last of my stone. I don't think we'll be able to finish this today then. That's a rough one. I wanted to, 
but sometimes life don't go that way. Either way, we've got ourselves like a pretty sweet thing built. What did I do over here? We've got that right there. We've got... I think I've gone out one too far. There we go. It's a good thing I caught that now rather than later because that would have sucked if I hadn't caught it. Yeah, that looks about right. And if it's not, we'll fix it in just a moment. And this is going to be roof access right here. So this is actually not going to have a roof on it at all. This is just going to be a cool little area where we can get up on top of and survey the kingdom. And kind of look out over the land we have been blessed with. And also take awesome screenshots for thumbnails on YouTube. That's the other part of it, is that we'll be able to finally take awesome screenshots. We can also see like the layout of our base so far and... I'm happy with it. It's not like a massively incredible... It's not a crazy incredible... How much wheat do we have right now? Is he staying on top? We don't need any more bakers. He's staying on top of it, so I'm not going to question his efficacy. And so now what I need to do... Oh, God, this is going to suck. I really don't want to do this. I need to look at it from the ground real fast. I need to look at it from the ground real fast, but this is going to be awful. The thing is, I don't have stair blocks or anything like that either that I would normally have like in Minecraft. And so what I need to do is I need to put a layer right there, and then I need to go up on a scaffold. And as I go up on a scaffold, I can expand it out. Oh, dude, this is doo-doo butter. I'm going to hate every moment of this. Yeah, and so the general thing that I'm doing here now, so that you can just see what I'm attempting to do, I did it right there. But I gotta make like a wood scaffold. I gotta go all the way up. And then once I go all the way up, I've gotta add a layer to each one of these, and then add another layer to the edge of it. Then delete the previous layer, like so. So that we're not wasting building materials, obviously, because that's the big worry right now, is that we don't want to waste building materials. And then as that works, it's going to be a slow go. It's it's not a project that's going to happen rapidly. But it is a project. I'll give it that. It is a project. And so this is going to require some fiddling. Instead, instead of doing it right here, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the remaining part off camera. And then I'll come back and show you the the finished result later, alright? My name is Splattercat. This game is called Colony Survival. If you wanted to play it for yourself, there's not a whole lot of game here right now. But if you're into, like, Minecrafty stuff and Minecraft mods and things of that nature, you'll probably like it. I mean, it'll probably end up being one of those things that you enjoy. Uh, this is our tower right now. We're attempting to finish it at the moment with our little scaffolds. It's gonna be okay. I know that you're looking at it right now being like, it looks kind of dumpy. But, like, I know what I need to do in order to get this done, so I wouldn't stress about it too much. In addition, I'll probably knock out those blocks right there and put in wood so that it maintains the exact same pattern all the way up. But other than that, uh, it's almost finished. It's almost finished, our big badass tower. I can't imagine building, like, if this was going to be, like, the cornerstone of our wall, I can't imagine building, like, more of these. It just takes so long, like, it's so time-consuming, you know what I mean? I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Colony Survival, my name is Splattercat. Bye, everybody.